All right, so check this clip out. I don't know what y'all think about this situation. It says, father jumped a seven-year-old girl's father after school to teach her a lesson about bullying his daughter after being told multiple times to stop, and she wouldn't stop. A seven-year-old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you, but we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter, and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents, and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences and since you too young to receive those consequences you had to watch your daddy take those consequences get some therapy you'll be all right mm. so check like story time i'm with the shit i story am with time. that y'all ready for story time go ahead then so i used to live out in troutwood y'all know where i used to stay y'all used to be up there all I'm the back. time so yeah. listen i ain't get a part of that across action. the across the um across the street we had these neighbors and they had these two bad ass kids i'm talking about these little motherfuckers was devil babies you hear me I'm mm -hmm. not devil babies. and my kids would go out to play with them but they were getting all types of bullshit and i wouldn't own that so i i told my kids to stay away from them mm -hmm. but these kids would keep coming to my kids wouldn't leave them alone and kept getting they would end up getting in the bullshit uh-huh so I went across the, the 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 parking lot, knocked on his door, and told him, "Hey, bro, listen. If you don't keep your kids away from my kids, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna beat your ass." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds like some screw shit. No cap. No I'm cap. gonna fuck you up, bro. Yeah, facts. So I say that to say. Round of applause Round for this nigga right here, yeah, God damn it, because nigga, somebody go, somebody go. It's gonna be a lesson. Yeah, learned. Somebody gonna learn that lesson. <laughs> and the reason why the daddy got his ass whooped because you don't want to control this little motherfucker. That's crazy. This go back to the conversation we was just had. It's parental shit. Yeah. How you yeah. have a whole? It's parental. I don't like that bully yeah. shit. We get, bro. I, listen, I, I could have been a bully my whole life. People look at me and just are intimidated. See, I don't throw that shit around. I don't try to, because I know I can. Mm. I've just never, I never had. I'm gonna put you in. But I would secret. definitely go against the bully. I'm gonna put you I in. I want to be secret. the one to be like, yeah. That you might not know. What? He ain't shit. See, see, he gonna. They be the scared one. because they don't know. Those are fake. <laughs> Those arms he got on, he blow them motherfuckers up every day before he leave out the house. Shut the fuck up. I'm telling you, them ain't real. Every time Shut he, up. every time he get all aggressive and shit, you know what I tell that nigga? Hey, bro, take, take your up. motherfucking arms off when you talking to me. <laughs> I ain't me. Hey, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> hey. I'm done. <laughs> nah, but I know I do that shit because I'm the only person that can get away with that shit. I'm you know done. what I mean? Somebody else gonna get hurt fucking with dude. Let's real. Don't don't play with nobody's kids, man. Yeah, I'll, hey. just, especially no real men. Like and respectfully, if somebody trying to address that shit, this is this is why I am a firm believer why adults should still get their ass whooped. If this for situations like this because you're an adult. Mm -hmm. Why are you not handling this? Your child. You're, yeah. Ain't nobody going, and you want to pop off? Fuck mm -hmm. all that. That's the thing. Shit. That's the thing, though. They've had the parent-teacher conference meetings. That's what I'm saying. We, and went, all, all, we, we have access yes. all resources all options. to try to make this a peaceful resolution. Your child is a reflection of you, bitch, so I got to yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I have to... Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. now, now, well, now, I'm not really a, a, I'm not, they jumped him. So, I get the message by that, but I, but if the daughter was just bullying, I'm going to show this little girl <laughs> how... You ever seen a lion jump on the gazelle? <laughs> <laughs> I knew this nigga was about to say something. But you know what's even like, more fucked I'm about up? To, I'm, I'm going to show you what a real bully look like. And I'm going to make your daddy apologize to you. And I'm gonna, and your daddy going to have you apologize to my son. I'm going to keep it real. Like, I'd be on some fuck shit like that. I, but don't, don't fuck. Just don't fuck with my with kids. With me? I have a mental lapse. You know? I agree with y'all. I'm right with the daddy. I say uh, between uh, grade school all the way up to middle school, yeah, I'm going to beat your, your mama's ass. 
But when we in high school, I told Jordan, you call me. I'm coming up there. My name ain't Mama. My name is Brittany. I'm a t- I am I go to Trotwood, and I'm a teenager. I just look a little older. <laughs> I'm fighting them kids. Please don't. <laughs> well, he, had, he did very good. He did very good. He about to graduate. We're not so gonna do I that. didn't go through none of that, but I was willing yeah, to. Yeah, we got to cut that out. Yeah, we got to. <laughs> <do that. laughs> shout out to every part yeah, of the sure. city, the west yeah, side, the east side, Huber Heights. <laughs> <laughs> one time for Fairborn and Kettering. But most yeah. importantly, Trywood. One, one time for Trotwood, man. <laughs> one time. I'm going to leave it alone, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> not, nothing at all. Not, none at all. Nothing sis. at all. all. What I say? It's you you said absolutely you ain't nothing. nothing. You, you ain't know. say nothing wrong it at all. You at all. <laughs> it ain't true. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I admitted that I would. Shoot, I would have went up to that school. Yeah, high I school. Mean, I listen. You see these big ass high school kids now? They look Man, like grown what? people. Grown ass. They are school. grown. Yeah. Grown everything. I be watching them college niggas, and I be like, this nigga's only twenty two. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I like. Damn, this nigga. He got me beat. He like high school different now, Ooh. man. Out there dunking on your Fight ass. For my baby. What? <laughs> you know what though? Speaking speaking of the 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 environments that I just shouted out, you know, Fairborn, Troutwood, and all that. Well, I have to speak on the green. Where is that out? out? What is the green technically? Is that Beaver, Beaver Creek? Creek? Beaver Creek. Mm-hmm. It says, Sugar Creek. The bank files say. foreclosure notice on the green for nearly nearly $113 million in unpaid debt. Mm. I'm so sad. I love the green. Well, well, I don't think going they going nowhere. I was about to say, I don't think that somebody else is just going to come. What are and they going to do? Abandon so. yeah. that whole, like, it's just gonna, somebody's going to buy it and, and Beaver operate Creek's it. not going to go for that. No. Um, 100, it, 113 million? So no. you got to think the come money on, that deep, baby. whoever owned that lot. Whoever has that, the money, so that's 113 in debt that they're losing, but the revenue that the city is gaining from all of that as well. So I kind of feel you when you say like Beaver, Beaver Creek, Creek ain't going, going for that it. because that's an attraction for it them. Is. It brings a lot of money through there. Not only that, but, is there. but the question is how many businesses are, see, because mm. it can look like Dayton Mall. Mm-hmm. And that's the point. It's I was still about to up make. and going, but it's a lot of stories. Listen, that's, yeah, I got an even talk. better point for you. Okay. Okay. The Salem Mall. Mm-hmm. We always, I said for the longest, why the fuck would they close down mm-hmm. Salem Mall? And that brought yeah. so much. Hey man, we had so much. Shit but then when you notice that everybody else started to close too. Think what Trotwood yeah. used to be yeah, uh, used compared to, to what Trotwood is now. Trotwood yeah. used to be that shit. See, the property value on Trotwood ain't even the same, but Beaver Creek is going to be Beaver Creek forever because... Other word, location. And who lives there, who occupies the space. That's There's where the doctors Force live. That's there. where the military live. That's where... You feel me? All, uh-huh. Are all those uh, stores and stuff, Cheesecake Factory, all of them getting closed down? No, that's what I'm Ain't saying. Ain't nothing getting closed down. Nothing's going to want to leave that area. All those businesses make way too much money in that spot. Okay. They're just going to continue Somebody going to swoop in and get Some them that $113 million. million, million dollars. Going to buy, pay up, pay the loan off. The you know who I want They're going to own it, and they're going to make the money off of Excuse it. Me. I love just Sorry. walking down there at nighttime in the summer. Mm-hmm. Just sitting at the little waterfalls and stuff, but yeah, the funny bone down there. Hey. Yeah, you know, you know who I wouldn't be surprised that might invest and jump on that. There's a bear. Clearly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that is something that he's going to. He got the. Bread I don't know if he'll do that. Why? I don't because think Beaver Creek isn't his community. No, it's not. It don't Yellow matter. Springs is Yellow his Springs, community, but, it, but still. Hey, but he's still, it's a, he's it's still a, messing a, around a, with the other it's a, it's, a, it's a money thing. He did his thing for us in Dayton. Yeah, but you know what though? You know he's building his own community mm-hmm. in Yellow Springs. Yeah, and they tried to implement Section Eight out there, and you know what Dave said? If y'all try to bring Section Eight out here, <laughs> I'm pulling all of my money out of the city. You know why? Because you know what comes with Section 8? Mm. Ghetto shit. And you know what ghetto shit do? Mm-hmm. Devalues the property. They going to come up there. They going to fuck them houses up. Mm. It's going to be trash and <laughs> litter everywhere. It's going to be shootouts. Sad, crackheads going to be popping. <laughs> Only time crazy. Dave see crackheads is when he come to the Oregon district. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it wasn't even so much that, though. There was a company that was trying to build a whole bunch of housing out there. 
and then they promised se uh, some Section 8 housing, and it turned out it was like less than 5% of what they were going to build. Hmm. So they were coming in to <coughs> build, take all them fields and turn them into communities, and he don't want no shit. He don't shit, want them coming bad. in making money out there. I ain't did that. I that dude, I ain't, uh, <laughs> while I was locked up, he had a whole comedy show out there. Yeah. Oh, he mm -hmm. does it. Yeah, he do it out of town. He had one down the town. Woods, man. It's all yeah, I know what I'm saying, but he like it's a whole field <laughs> or whatever. He had a whole stage. It's a Netflix man. special. People, people yep. drew, drove out. Yeah, there it's a Netflix special. You should go yeah. check it out. I'm sure he'll do it again this summer. So, so that's what I'm, I so, so again, I, the reason why I say Dave because he like he ain't no he ain't shy to our area. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And again, this is business, it's money. So regardless if he lives right here, that has nothing to do with one's business. People own properties that in states and shit that they don't even fucking live in. <laughs> That's a fact. Well, bless you. So it's a, so you. at the end of the day, it's, just, it's, it's, it's I'm a millionaire. I invest, I get this money. Look. That's a lot yeah. of money. Though, All right, for it one is. Person. I mean, but shit, shit look but at he the gonna get it back for sure. That's though. what I'm saying. Look at the kickback. He gonna get it back. Yeah. But you know, it's enough shit yeah, though. Cause and whoever it. ran it before ain't getting it back. Man, look. You know, <laughs> if I if I was out there, you know what I would do? What? Like if I had a store out there, it's time to have a community meeting. Yeah, I'm there. It's enough of us out here. If we all put two thousand dollars, we could all have ownership in this whole fuck just renting out the you won't even have to pay rent for your shit no more because we own the goddamn it's enough people in that area to put that that capital up to own to have a share, like a percentage of a you feel me? And yeah. help make Especially decisions they, on what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially if they can get some of the clientele at some of them restaurants involved and in behind what they're doing. They could, you mm -hmm. know, buy the I whole thing. Dave got too many connections, bro. He'll have that funny bone rocking. Boy, listen. Restaurants rocking. You know what I mean? Man, That's really ain't going to be able to get in the cheesecake factory. <laughs> get a piece of yeah. cheesecake. <laughs> My spot out there is the Mongolian Grill. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say that. Yeah. That's the spin out. All right, so listen, Miami Beach police hmm. add a Rolls Royce to their fleet. Hey. What are your thoughts? Well, Miami Vice. My Bice damn got, tax dollars. Goddamn Vice. That's the first boy. thing I said. I said, so these motherfuckers, you know how many police cruisers you, they could have got for the price mm -hmm. of this Rolls oh, Royce? Rolls Royce. Oh. One. For this one. <laughs> they probably got it for free. <laughs> they they probably them. impounded it and just put, put a police wrap on it. Man. They probably that, took it from somebody that they arrested, and then and put a wrap on it. You know what? This is our new police car. But, we this, but, you, but you got you got to think though. That mm -hmm. ain't they. Ain't, them motherfuckers ain't just got one Rolls Royce. Oh hell no! But who's, so who's so driving how many, that? So how many chief, Rolls Royces you think gonna They're be just, in the impound? The Miami Beach Police Department has been on some shit. Did you guys see the video they put out last year about spring break? Mm -mm. They made a whole like community PSA saying they were breaking up with spring break. And set the SWAT team up on the beach during spring break, and they don't do spring break there anymore. Mm. I can believe they've been that. on all kinds of shit. Yeah, that, I mm. can believe that. But yo, t mm. that don't it don't surprise me at all that they're like, all right, first we're they shut start down Freak Nick. Like, now what they else got are we gonna do? We ain't got nothing else going on. <laughs> what the fuck we gonna do now? Just know, man, our tax dollars, your tax dollars, for those who got jobs and shit, mm. is it, it supports a lot of bullshit. Yes, sir. That y'all say I don't give a fuck about, but if a motherfucker really broke it down, you'll be highly pissed mm -hmm. what your money is supporting. Mm -hmm. The shit that you don't like is where your money is going. That's a fact. But because you don't give a fuck. I mean, shoot, do we really got a choice, though? No, yes, they, yes you do. They take this shit straight out the check. No, no, no. no. Look at all them <laughs> can, I, can, I, can, I, can I be honest? Well, taxes that but you actually can be honest? your tax money your, for certain shit. Your voice. I, man, I need to, I need somebody to show me the way. You know the potholes that's in, all over the place? Yeah. You your know tax if dollars. you call them yeah. um, and, and tell them about yep, that yep. pothole, <laughs> they, were, they will come and fill that pothole? Your tax dollars pay you know that. it, but they'll fill it. Really? <laughs> hey, yeah, they'll come how patch much, that motherfucker how much up. much complaining you really got to do, though? You just got to call. Speaking hours of that, and hours, speaking it's of like, that, is it true that if uh, if you go down the street and you hit a, a pothole and your tire get flat, the city got to pay for it? Got, yeah. That's why they come out and fill it up when you call. Man, I should have did that shit. When your tax been. dollars pay for a lot of shit, but you don't know because hmm. you, guess what? Your tax dollars pay for the military. That's the majority yeah. of what we yeah. know that. <laughs> You're right. I'm, I'm saying, yeah. so not only the police, the, too, but the police, it pays for shit, every, anything, fe anything federal, anything government, your tax dollars is going towards shit. that shit. Yeah. 
I see SWAT trucks out. The on penitentiary the system. Your tax dollars so is just going to. Just think about that. that. We yeah. pay the police to whip our ass. Ain't that some shit? We pay them to lock us the fuck up forever in a day. Mm. Yes. We pay the judges. We pay all. We pay the prosecutor. We your tax dollars mm -hmm. pay for every fucking thing. So yes, sir. If you say something, if enough of us say something. Mm -hmm. But enough of us don't. That's enough of us work. don't care. That's why the shit don't never change. If you get a if you get a group of people that make noise, motherfuckers will pay attention. But mm -hmm. because ain't nobody making noise on that shit, who gives a fuck? Why well, be up part. in that motherfucker? I've been working since I was fifteen years old. Y'all don't <laughs> listen to me. I damn near need a kickback check because y'all ain't did nothing for me with my tax money. Man, Can I get nothing, that back? Bro. All right, so listen. Working on the street, I pay more taxes than Trump. That's, what that's a too. fact, though. We. But we all have. Him, but y'all want him in there, man. That's so a whole nother Everybody's subject. familiar with Kamora Lee Simmons? Yeah. yeah. With her yeah. flat booty ass. She hey, cute, she, though. Don't do. She bad as fuck. So. You said she don't. Y'all realize. Don't do baby fat. She never fat. had it. She never don't had it. Don't do baby fat. <laughs> don't do baby uh, fat. Where was the baby fat? <laughs> so y'all know who she was married to. Of, of course. course. Yeah, yeah. And y'all know the age gap. For sure. Mm-hmm. I heard that he he when he first got with her, she was still underage. Young, she, yes. them, new, dude, them New York niggas, that's, that's Jay Z, a fat, fat farm fact. He said them New York. So they have a daughter named Aoki. Uh huh. And this says Kamora Lee Simmons says she believes Aoki Lee Simmons' relationship with a 65 year old restauranter was a setup. I probably was a little bit embarrassed. It says. Kimora Lee Simmons is breaking her silence about her daughter, a Lee, Aoki Lee Simmons, revealing she was in a relationship with a 65 year old woman. How old is she? That's what I need to know. Yeah. Uh, Aoki, she at this point she's about twenty something. Yeah, she's thirty, she's, maybe pushing thirty. She's a young twenty something. Yeah, she gotta be she's twenty. She gotta be mid early twenties, mid twenties. She's yeah, she's a young twenty. Cause she's a, she's definitely a, a two thousand something baby. But okay, so what do y'all think she mean when she say it was a setup? That part, that's where I'm confused. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I, well, I think the setup was she's following your footsteps. Man. I mean, that part, like that was <clears throat> that's the setup. You set it up for her to follow your footsteps. She's deflecting <laughs> off the situation, in my opinion, because people are now going back to, and pulling up, like how you pulled up her and Russell, mm -hmm. and all it is is just making her relive what she went, what she did with their dad. So that was a little, I don't know. I was kind of confused when she said it was a setup. Uh, yeah, it's a, to me, that's the setup. Cause I watched the videos, the lives of her, her daughter, and that creepy man. To it me, was cringe. She was doing what her mama did, solidified the check. This nigga, sixty five years old, she young as Man. fuck. How he die on top of me? Oh. I ain't gonna, hey, you crazy as fuck. <laughs> she gonna get everything from this old motherfucker. She gonna have more than what her mom and daddy had, but and she gonna be able to start her own shit. Don't be surprised yeah. if Fat Farm and Baby Fat get revived. Get on a the resurgence. Whole, get it, get it, mm. I seen she somebody with a, some Baby that. Fat on the other day, and I was uh, like, Nah, I ain't gonna look. That's I vintage. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <But> she <talking laughs> she shit, I heard, I heard Fubu was some type, is no, no, making no, no, some no, type no, of comeback. In, they tried that a couple years ago with Fubu Legacy. I they said, ah, they nah. think they, they think they, they tried ah. it. <laughs> <laughs> they tried it. Ah. Even though it's full up. If they come yeah. right, I'll step. I fuck with some fubu. I ain't gonna lie, right. the hardest fubu shit was the hey. platinum shit. No, it was. Oh, no, wait, what? Nah, 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 nah. 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 But check this. <laughs> that platinum fubu. You are you, so the fat Alberts and the Muhammad Ali shit. Hey, that wasn't that the hardest. Shit. They was hard. Oh, fuck up. That's why I said that's the hardest shit. I was wearing, but, hey, was wearing platinum jeans and though. jackets. Hey, check. I ain't say do it now. Oh, I said okay. that was the hardest shit. Listen, right now, the only person that could bring fubu back is Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> this is the time. They need to holler at bro. Right that. now. Right. He said right now. Why hey, he, they better strike hey. while the iron is hot. Hey, and Tommy Hill figure, he said, yeah. Fubu was never your selection. Yeah, you mm -hmm. never had that in your collection. Yeah. Kendrick, if y'all team hear this, y'all got it from this podcast, all yeah, right? Man. Yeah, man. Give Don't us forget us about us. Just give us a yeah. just a little. This is a little Come credit. On. Just a, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Great pod, everybody. Brandy, what we got going on this week? Uh, Wednesday, my son graduating. Respectfully. Okay, okay. So Congratulations. I, if y'all potting on Wednesday, I won't be able to see y'all. But uh, other than that, we're going to show up to the graduation. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, let's, let's roll out to the graduation. Hell yeah, bring some weed. Where's it at? Oh, damn. 
I gotta look at the invitation. Hold on, I gotta look it up. I'll get back to y'all with that. I'm sorry. I'm a crazy mom. I know. I should know where it's at. I'm not know. driving though, so shoot. If if y'all miss pie, there is no PTO that you can't use no PTO. <laughs> he said that's a point. What's I know y'all not getting paid yet, but it's on the way. Yeah. I'm keeping count. It's <laughs> at UD Arena. <laughs> I'm just talking. It's shit. at UD Arena. Oh, nice. All right, so okay. that's what we got going on. Whole lot of graduating shit. Whole lot of graduating that's shit. Tight. That's yep. tight. All right, that's so it. you know, I'm back doing the monkey for the. <laughs> So that's what yep. I'll be doing. Uh, oh damn! Should I say that anymore now that Chuck here? Damn. Don't say huh. Chuck's a brownie. Yeah, Chuck Remember? Black. Chuck yeah, Black. Man. But don't say <laughs> is endearment. Is it? Yes. Is the I got to fact check that Chuck? You will never hear another white person call another white person a cracker as an in. in as we would have like we, nigga they say white trash not no, a, no, I want that's to know. not a term of endearment at all no, okay bro, right. is not. Hey. 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 I'm about to say he is an endearment word I'm telling you all right, I'm retiring yes. I'm retiring no, that honky. I'm back I thought it was about my white boy yeah, no, listen hey, being hey, especially I'm being there from Chuck yeah I'm I'm saying, listen that's being in jail and this is how I know because I'm the one that was in jail and these white boys they take and they what's up He's That's how they address that. each he's, other. He's right about that. I'm trying to I tell you. They, like, they say, uh, what's up, honky? Groups if they say cracker, it's a, it's a degrade. They degrade and they talking shit. They, that's like calling him, call him a bitch. I'm still not. If I call you a cracker, if a white man call another white man a cracker, he going to feel like. Well, I'm not going to lie. I just felt you. bad. I just felt game. bad saying, saying that and realizing my. I'm trying to tell you. My honky is an endearment word. That's us calling each other I'm not going to say that anymore. All right, listen. All right, all right. We ain't saying it no more, period. I'm going to work, God damn it. What you got going on? What you got going on, bruh? Man, well, of course, you know me, man. Watching these NBA playoffs. Oh, my God. Hey, bleep yeah, that out, always. too, Chuck. About, about to get it. it yeah, the H word. Oh, I was about to say, I ain't say nothing. You ain't did nothing. No, no, uh, no, 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 not you. Uh, Is it okay if I put in <laughs> sound every time? There you go. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, sure. It's creative. That's smart. Creative. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, uh... Big fight coming up. Yeah, uh, we watching that together. My boy, yes, sir. Oh. My boy, well, I got it. I'm being about to get out there, get get the whip appeal jumping. So, man, I'm 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 excited for this one, man. What it's time y'all think that fight gonna come on? Like 11 30, 12, some Something late like shit. shit. Yeah. I can make that. One Something in the like morning. That. About a yep. yep. Just get the Frank's chicken and shit. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that bitch. No I doubt. Frank's shit. I ain't had Frank's in a minute. Man. God. I'm hungry. Let's I'm not, 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 not even stop. Yeah. I'm gonna get this next What you got go, what you yeah. got going on, Scrooge? Uh <laughs> honestly, man, it's been uh, I, I, life has been really like life and life and and I ain't been able to indulge in my music for real. Uh <clears throat> recording is therapy for me. So I got a couple songs um that I gotta hit to the studio with uh amid a uh, song that me and Nino got together, along with uh, that Diego. new Nino shit hard. Right? So <laughs> us three, we got a little pro little song together, or whatever. So that you know, me and Brug, I just gotta put our verses to it. But studio, get that together, and um, man, just praying that I survive and make it to the next pod, man. You will. Nah, man. You, know you talking like that? No, nah, I'm just you know. I mean, you know, God's no, will is God's you will. Be back so stronger with a with a with a new silk shirt, like okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no what you, up. What, I'm you, still with what you got going on, Big Chuck? Um, last night I drove over to Indianapolis, took uh, my daughter to, well, my stepdaughter to see the first Indiana Fever game with Caitlin Clark. Mm -hmm. um, That's hard. That's I'm, I'm more of a Chicago Sky <laughs> fan myself. Can't wait to see that first game between those two teams, but uh, she's all about it. So it was pretty cool to see you know the inspiration and all that on her face you know being Aww. out there she's thanked me a hundred times since then and it's wow. only been one day so <laughs> that's that's been the highlight of my my time last week are you the man right now yeah oh yeah, yeah. You big dog around man. that motherfucker he trying to get a father's day gift it <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up there is. <laughs> mm -hmm. all right man great pod everybody yeah yeah no doubt no doubt i enjoyed right. y'all no yeah, for no, sure no, no. Does anybody know how to do the outro? Like everybody has an opinion. For sure. Everybody has an asshole. Hold on, time out, time out. We ain't going out with an outro. We ain't got no song for the outro. I'm 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 setting it up. 
Oh, okay. It, hey, comes, it comes we, in after the outro. It comes in after, bro. Damn. <laughs> See, everybody <laughs> has a podcast. Hold on, wait. Do you got a joke? Just not this podcast. No, 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 no. You got me doing over, bro. I got to no. do it over. I fucked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, man, I, I can't you can't be original. Now and you can't I can't interrupt. just come off the hey, fly. Not when, right. when I'm here. Not when I'm here. Oh, like you know what I mean? You do it. You do that when I'm gone. Come on, man. Come on, run it back, DJ. Run it back, DJ. You got to give me the powder. <laughs> now nah, come on, I just, right. come on, come on, come on. Oh, Hell no, man. Everybody has an opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody has an asshole. For sure. Right. Everybody has a podcast. What? Just, just not, not this podcast. podcast. You tuned in to everybody has one, man. We about to leave out with Nino Green. Run away. Hey. Nino Green, these basic bitches, but the Brenda Jean is still shine. Look. I move around like a runaway yeah. They make it hard to put my gun away yeah. What you heard about my city in the winter block is hot as a summer day yeah. I don't like to brag for real nah. But I'm in my bag for real yeah. I got to that bag for real And that made them mad for real yeah. I move around like a runaway yeah. They make it hard to put my gun away uh. What you heard about my city in the winter block is hot as a summer day okay. I don't like to brag for real But I'm in my bag for real yeah. But I got to that bag for real wow. And wow. I made them mad for real yeah. What happened to your friends? Had to cut them off cause most of them envy I been low getting ease Praying niggas don't end me I got the juice like simply Let me squeeze till it's empty I'm after that chicken, no 10 piece Fuck a gimmick, bitch, I be in street When you mention this pee They gon' say he a trap addict He a go and get a job Set up shop just to trap at it Skip school after mathematics I can sell salt to a slug Or sell bud to an asthmatic Mud music, yeah, we back at it Fuck what you heard My city really a zoo These niggas gon' ape shit Born strapped like Apex I can't let a nigga take shit Don't end up on Page six, they tried to copy, so I lane switch. I put it on gang. I never change over no fame, bitch. I move around like a runaway. It make it hard to put my gun away. What you heard about my city in the winter block is hot as a summer day. I don't like to brag for real, but I'm in my bag for real. I got to that bag for real, and that made them mad for real. I move around like a runaway. It make it hard to put my gun away. What you heard about my city in the winter block is hot as a summer day. I don't like to brag for real, but I'm in my bag for real. But I got to that bag for real And I made them mad for real Been running my city Smacking players getting tipsy In this game you gotta stay on defense They ain't get you like Nipsey Try to turn you into history Go to jail with it, die without it I'd take a bit before they get me Just keeping it trill like Pepsi Everybody ain't solid Check the niggas on your roster Act like team players Really be imposters I ain't with the loud talking I move in silence like a mobster Last nigga try to stab me in the back I cracked his head like a lobster Fuck is you saying? Caution game really a zoo All of my niggas go Hey, book me a show You know how this shit can go When you see that yellow tape G's in my woe Me and my nigga get dope We move that shit, state to state G's in my woe Me and my nigga get dope We moving that shit, state to state Hey, move around like a runaway It make it hard to put my gun away What you heard about my city In the winter block is hot as a summer day I don't like to brag for real But I'm in my bag for real I got to that bag for real And that made them mad for real I move around like a runaway It make it hard to put my gun away What you heard about my city In the winter block is hot as a summer day I don't like to brag for real But I'm in my bag for real But I got to that bag for real And that made them mad for real You're now tuned in to the number one podcast Coming out of Ohio, man The green light about to drop in like a month I ain't gonna hold you, man Mm-mm. Okay, okay. Fire. Fire. Somebody, anybody, everybody, tell them when we're going to see them. In, In a, a minute, minute, boy. In a minute, boy. Take it easy. Take it easy.